and welcome to Back Here Slip Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Tiffany. I'm really excited to talk about this. It's Barry Windsor Smith's Weapon X. It's taken almost 10 years for us to finally <laughs> talk about one of the most epic and genre-defining Wolverine stories ever committed to comic book. And it came out in 1991. It was part of the Marvel Comics Presents line, which was a comic book series that I think debuted in like the 80s, like 88. Mm -hmm. Shorter stories, but two of them, you get like eight pages per story. And at least the copies I have, you have one story here and you flip it over and you can read the, the other story here. You know um, what I mean? So that you know it's two separate things. And they have two separate covers. And they tried with the Marvel Comics Presents series to like find a focus. You know, who's gonna be kind of like the flagship character from our, oh, it's Wolverine. Mm. Obviously it's Wolverine. Wolverine fever was at its height by the time Weapon X debuted in the pages of Marvel Comics Presents. Uh, Barry Windsor Smith was an accomplished artist back in the 70s who dropped out of comics around that time and then came back in the late 80s, early 90s in a big way with this. Uh, when I say came back to comics, I mean came back to mainstream comics, mm. and more specifically Marvel. Okay. He still was making a splash and impressing people, especially fans, mm -hmm. with his style, but it wasn't until he, he did books like Conan that he was able to go like, this is what I'm really about. Mm. And uh, then he left comics because he didn't want to work for other people and he didn't want to tell their stories. And he also felt that he was getting kind of like cheated out of credit because mm -hmm. for him, he's like, I also co-wrote those stories. Like he was very much a Jack yeah. Kirby artist in as much as he's like, I'm telling this story. I, I at least deserve co-writing credit. Right. And uh, he didn't get it <laughs> until he did stuff like this. And even after this, he was like, ah, this system still sucks and he left. And uh, he would occasionally bomb right back in. He did like a Weapon X quasi like companion piece. It was like seven or eight pages to a flashback story that explains a character who is no one in this, but then someone else is like, oh, there's a lot of bodies in this book. That one <laughs> that you ignored was important and has a name and here's what they were all about. And when it's yeah. like, all right, I'll draw Wolverine again, here you go. And then eventually he collected an Eisner for his Ooh. work in oh. uh, the early 2000s, uh, which he did not collect himself and instead sent a letter basically saying like the mainstream of comic book industry rapes and pillages their artists <laughs> so I'm not going to show up and protest yeah like uh, okay. like they care right having been to two of the Eisners <laughs> I can tell you they don't so this is after he left after he left, left he's, he's coming done, back done his own thing yep well he's, he actually got into more like fine art mm. <laughs> Wolverine he found interesting because he is just kind of a regular guy Though he also refers to him as having silly knives that come out of his hands. Mm. So he, he still is quick to keep Wolverine in his arms like this one and go like, yo, Wolverine's baller <laughs> and I wanted to make him look even more totally cool. Right. He's not quite Alan Moore. No. But he's Nor is like, he like on the road to it. I like, think so. It's all kind of goofy, right? right. <laughs> At the but end of the day. I do still really want to do it. Right. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So he comes to Terry Kavanaugh, who's an editor at Marvel at the time, and he's like, hey, I want to get back in. And what he didn't tell them was that he would already draw some of Weapon X by himself. Oh. Because he was like, well, they'll publish it. Uh, by the way, Barry Windsor Smith was right. They put him on the book. They mm -hmm. were like, done. Like, we'll get your feet. You know, we got this great book. It's called Marvel Comics Presents. It's like a shorter kind of thing, eight pages per, sto per issue. So like, get your feet wet, get you ready. And he's like, okay. And sure enough, he was on time every time. Like basically when they said like, okay, we're ready, he gave them the whole book. Right. And he's like, here you go, Done. what's next? And they were like, oh, what? <laughs> Publish immediately. And so Marvel Comics presents number 72 to 84 are just Barry Winter Smith doing his thing eight pages at a time. Of this per book? Of this book. So like I said, this is kind of a weird book to talk about because A, everybody knows the story of how Wolverine got his claws. Is it's, this the first time it's told? It's the first time it's told. So, so Barry oh, Winter wow. Smith is like, I want to do a dope looking Wolverine story. And the one thing I know about him, or the one thing that's like the most striking is his claws. Where did he get them? No one knows. They've never actually told that story. And if anybody's going to, it's probably gonna be Chris Claremont, even though Len Wein created him. Did but they Did they just consider it to be 
part of his mutation or was there always like a hint well like in that he'd been built when he was or no first, one thought about it at all when he was first invented by Langween, <laughs> right. originally his claws never retracted because they were attached to his gloves right, right. and Which then made costumes way easier to make for kids that's very true <laughs> uh, and then of course later on peter david would pitch that he is actually a literal wolverine who mutated into a man Whoa. but no one liked that and it was never really considered serious anyway because it's insane yeah sorry, wait who peter david pitched that but of course peter david also pitched like pulling all the adamant team out of wolverine skeleton in the first place as a joke he's like oh sure you take that one serious right <laughs> not when i said he was a wolverine you didn't like my little wolverine man but also i thought i was safe here. jeff loeb was like i kind of like that and so i'm gonna do a story called wolverine evolution and it's gonna suck <laughs> And that kind of explores the idea in, a, in a, the loosest terms about like maybe we or he is evolved from like lupine ancestors. And you're like, shut up. <laughs> this sucks. That also introduces other characters that we'll get into in a minute because we have to talk about that. But for now, what Are matters is Barry Windsor Smith is like, I'm going to tell Wolverine's origin about the claws and just do that. But he didn't tell anybody. He just oh. drew it. Huh. And it was like, here you go. And like Marvel... Comics presents like Terry Cavanaugh starts publishing this book, and I read, I read issue two. He's like, "Oh, I'm sorry. Are we giving away the origin of how he gets his claws? Because it's awesome." And even though we were all kind of on the same page about never doing that, now that it's here, it's kind of dope. And so, just keep going. And so they, well, did. they didn't read ahead. Why would they? It's Barry Woods Smith. I trust him. Yeah. He probably told them like something about what it was about, so left Wolverine. that part out, and <laughs> Windsor Smith did not work with Claremont on this at all, despite the fact that he did work with Claremont on the X Men titles that he also drew. Mm. So, what he did do was he left it open enough so that Claremont could Claremont it if he so chose. Well, it just feels right. like everyone would have been left out. If he already had it done, yeah. then yeah, there was no like, process. No. There was just, I wrote this thing, do you want it? Oh my gosh, we do want this. Then put it out. <laughs> oh, hey, Chris. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Well, maybe well, Chris could write some words you know that what? could go in the balloon. It oh, no, 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 he didn't write it. No, 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 it's yeah. more like, Chris, I'm going to do something to a character that you kind of like have taken ownership over. Yeah. And... You're just gonna have to deal with it. You know, he'll find out when he picks it up Look, himself. Let me <laughs> tell you something about Chris Claremont and his control over Wolverine, okay? Do you know where the origin of Logan comes from? A leprechaun. What? Wolverine bumps into a leprechaun in an X-Men story by Claremont, and the leprechaun tells Wolverine that his real name is Logan. <laughs> so like, whatever, Chris. I think we're good. <laughs> that said, that's enough out of you. The one thing that Claremont wanted to do with this was better than what they did when they had to muck with it. Because oh. this thing works on its own. There's a lot of baggage because everyone sees like a pure product and they go, how do we deepen it, prequelize it, sequelize it, and just put my dick in it? Like, right. how can I just, yeah, me? How do I killing joke this? I mean, everybody yeah. has to do it. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's how it's done. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta leave my mark. Exactly. How do I leave my mark on that, on yeah. someone else's work? But well, because people left their marks all over my work, exactly. so let me pay it forward. Yeah, but it's worth looking at in a vacuum or as much of a vacuum as we can afford, because when this drops, it drops like an atom bomb. People are just like, what the crap? Now the whole book is about control. It is essentially a treatise on control. Mm. Lack thereof, a desperate need for it, uh, who has it, who doesn't. It's a tour de force in a merging of art and writing. If you look at the first panel, we see how Barry Windsor Smith tells you that this is not your typical X-Men book through the eyes of one of the main characters in this story. Because they're looking at what will be Experiment X, but their glasses are over the document saying it. And mm. so in the next panel, the, the glasses reflect the X's and the men in Experiment oh. to say X-Men, but it shows you like, that. It, this ain't X-Men. <laughs> or it is through the lens of something sinister. Mm. That being said, no X-Men appear. There is no reference. That is the only time you will ever see the words X-Men appear in the book, know. is in the words Experiment X. Can I, can I ask something about this printing of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a ubiquitous available copy. There is a reprinting of this. It's larger that I wish I had purchased, but uh, 
We didn't get around to it. I no, I just noticed that they write uh, select art reconstruction, select color reconstruction. Yeah. What? What was that? When it was originally printed, obviously the limitations of the printing made the book look different than it does. Did it look better? It's entirely in the eye of the beholder. Okay. Mm. I'd like to see this right because I don't know how I feel about the colors. Yeah, they're I'll a little. Be honest with you. The mm. the colors are significantly more vibrant in this printing than they were in the original, but of course they were. Uh, but it has in the original printing that kind of like '80s grit mm. and that kind of like muted soft palette that you right. want that or would probably expect. works better with this style. Of I art. think so. Yeah. Also because you know that Barry Windsor Smith wrote, drew, inked, colored, and lettered it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So every single element is thought of by him. So he knows what the limitations of the printing and the colors are, mm -hmm. so he deliberately makes it look thus. Right. When, when did this come out? This came out in 1991. Okay. Well, the original. Do version. you have yeah. any of the floppies? We don't. Oh. <laughs> As you can imagine, uh, they're a little more pricey than uh, <laughs> I normally spend on floppies. Right. But yeah, I, 90, I looked. 91, uh, what other things are coming out? 91, Todd McFarlane, Rob Liefeld, uh, Mark Silvestri, um, Stephen Platt. There's a ton of different artists that are making their mark. And perhaps Windsor Smith is like, I don't want to be left out in the cold. Mm. Like I'm seeing the rise of the superstar artist and right. I will not be left behind. I don't know if that's true. That's an editorialization for me. Sure, sure. Uh, because Barry Winston Smith doesn't necessarily well, that's act like he is an egomaniac no, who needs no, no. to be. And it's interesting because like that's just like a Marvel saw a great opportunity. They obviously had worked with this person before. Right, so but they're like, also feeling the winds change. They're feeling the winds change, and like this is like kind of a safe way to dip their toes in the water of of the writer or the art writer artist. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, and by '91 they are also making deals with the proverbial devil by giving Rob Liefeld X Force and Todd McFarlane Spider Man, and just saying go for it. Right. In fact, uh, Rob Liefeld didn't get assigned Fabian Nicieza. No, he elected to have Nicieza help him write because he felt that writing was uh, on the weaker side of his talents. So like. In fact, when he took over for the Heroes Reborn version of Captain America, like he invited Mark Wade to come in. And because Mark Wade had been writing Captain America when he was kicked off the book for Rob Liefeld to do Captain America, and he asked him to come on because he's like, no, you are the writer, you know what you're doing, I just want to draw Captain America. And Mark Wade took one look at that story and was like, no, <laughs> I want nothing to do with that. But I will, just to give Liefeld something, he was like, you, you want me to draw, you don't want me to, write what they're saying. Uh, but McFarlane had no such apprehensions. <laughs> and uh, neither did uh, Barry Winston Smith. Though the How dialogue, writing? I think it's good. Okay. I don't think it's bad in any way. And I think it's also, it's, it's almost Millerian. And I'm sure he'd find that offensive. <laughs> uh, in that like, it's, it's economical. You know what, I'll say, uh. it's, it's, I'll say it's Hemingwayan. You know what's funny, hmm. I never think of like Frank Miller as a writer artist, but he is. He is, he absolutely, is, yeah. yeah. But I never like, think about him like that for I know, reason. it's weird, yeah. But he absolutely was, from this time too. Yeah. yeah, like it's like I know that, but it's like when I think of those, I, he doesn't fall in that category. No, yeah. Ernest Hemingway, the noted author yeah. and novelist, yeah. was very economical in the, 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 the word selection and what he chose to pay attention to. Uh -huh. You know, he'd write sweeping action sequences that would be one sentence, but then he'd make sure to include that the coffee was good and we drank it out of big bowls. Uh -huh. That was much more important than like someone getting their balls blown off <laughs> in a fighter jet. <laughs> it's positively British. Uh -huh. There are there are colloquials in here that you're just like, yep. Mm -hmm. And you just move on. Sure. It's right. set in Canada, so you're like, all right, there's some Oh, they of... talk weird up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they all kinds of shit it's up there. probably Canadian. Exactly. The, the Comics Code Authority won't be abandoned for another, like, five or six years. Okay, so he's probably also using that as he's a He's working around it. Yeah. But, to uh, get what he wants to have said, but yeah. to not you be censored. You could imagine exactly. what he... But, you know, uh, but this whole what thing... What in English? Exactly. But <laughs> this whole thing is an opportunity for Windsor Smith to just showcase what he wants to see, and he'll actually use images or shades of these images in other independent works, like uh, the most recently published Monster. You'll see like, oh, that's that's borrowed from here. I can see where you like weren't able to go as far and did with this, mm -hmm. or maybe you just, you just find this image so compelling that you want to see it again. And it's been 35 years, so why the hell not? Uh, and that's not to disparage the work. I'm just saying like, 
he's always refining and he's always working on it. In fact, he drew some of this book out of sequence. So you can see where some of his stylings evolve or change depending on like what page you're on and you can see where he puts most of his efforts in. Mm. Uh, there's one particular element that I see in everything. Our most recent exposure to Barry Windsor Smith's art was he did the last kind of like epilogue to Iron Man's Armor Wars, which was uh, <laughs> Tony Stark having a complete fever dream. He, he, he loves wires. Mm. Okay. I, I don't know what the like thematic reference is, <laughs> like what he's going for, but there are wires galore. What's the deal with the wires? What's with the wires, Barry? <laughs> Either it means something because of his fine arts background, mm. or it's just something he enjoys drawing, because there are people out there who love drawing mechs. You yes. Know what I mean? yeah. robots are on yeah. They just mm -hmm. love drawing all these like little intricate components and figuring out how things go together. It's yeah. just something about right. that That's that very really true. Like, gets in their brain and they want to put it well, on paper. And what, what would wires mean from a fine art perspective? I would imagine some I, kind of phallus in some way, it's, just because of yeah, the nature of the tubes and the invasiveness of their... I think it depends on, uh, on, the, on what they're doing in a piece. Well, yeah. in these, they're usually penetrating what, Wolverine or well, surrounding I him meant, or enveloping him. I mm. meant in terms of, like, you know, what they're up against. You know what I mean? Like, what, what else is in it's the It's always imagery. machinery. But I'm just saying, in general, no, like, in if this, you were to ask, like, that, it's just general. Yeah, what does a wire to, mean when it's, like... You have to think about it, like, in like, the context with the rest of the work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these look like uh, umbilicals, almost. They do, yeah. Yeah, you know, this is, like, the... But like a distorted one. Yeah. Well, don't forget, we're also looking back on this with like, you know, 2023 vision. So we know that in a way, this will be the birth of Wolverine. Like, yeah. this is when Wolverine becomes matters. interesting. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. you know, and like, I mean, he's already been interesting. He's been but it's interesting. Like, this is the explanation, the background for why that's he's so exactly interesting. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, you could think of it like that. I it's mean, a birth. If, if he has a thing about control, then, like, you know, wires could be. Yeah, these part are of that like, well. he's like, breaking out and these yeah, are like holding him back. They're tethers. Yeah. That, you know, it's, yeah. it's, you know, man versus machine. You know, if Wolverine's meant to be this, like, feral force of nature, then, like, naturally the wires could be seen as like something to like hang on to him. Absolutely. And, yeah. Like, or perhaps the, they're like puppeteer wires. Where For sure. Like there's, there's so many different ways. It really just depends on like what the situation is. Absolutely. But I will say that he is covered in fucking wires throughout <laughs> well, this book. <laughs> I mean, it looks, One thing's it looks, for sure. He it is, looks dope, you know. It, it looks it, dope like, and he's covered in wires. And it must have taken forever. That's the thing. And it shows ever, motion. Like it's an easy mm, way to show motion, especially. It, uh, well, especially because like, most movement. of the time it's in a lot of static imagery. You're yeah. seeing yeah. Wolverine mostly com comatose or static and he's surrounded by wire, so it yeah. does actually keep the eye flowing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can also imagine it took forever to draw them. You know, like every page, you see like a bazillion wires surrounded by complicated, yeah. insane are... technology, and you're like, that must have taken forever. There were some artists that don't blanket that at all. No, they don't. And They're they like, get, here's a million and they, wires. And they power through it. That's true, yeah. Yeah, do you uh, want to talk about this, like the story itself, even though we kind of already know Right, we this? have to, because there and, is a story. And I, right. and I only ask that because I'd love to know like how right other media have gotten it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Uh, certainly Fox would have been afraid to depict this origin for Wolverine. Mm. Though they do touch on it. Right. You know, we we are in a like a secret vat. government facility. He's there's in the vats. thing of liquid. There's, yeah, there is cruelty. You know, right. he is naked. You know, there's, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of those like superficially, it's similar. Yeah, and there's yeah. always some like shadowy doctor or something behind it. Though in all the movies, it's always a general or there's somebody. There's a predator from the, helmet. There is a predator helmet. <laughs> if you read Predator versus Wolverine number three. There are three characters, effectively, outside of Wolverine. Wolverine is not the protagonist. He is essentially the driving force. He is the he is an element that keeps the story. The story is about him. Right. So, the, but he doesn't do anything. The characters are Wolverine, his yeah. claws, and the wires. That's right. Yes, those okay. are the three main characters. <laughs> they, I mean, they do take center stage primarily throughout this twelve issue Ooh. story. Okay. But I was uh, paying attention. There are three scientists involved in this story. Are, are those air quotes scientists? Well, because one, I'm not really sure what Ms. Hines' qualifications are. All I know is she worked for NASA. Oh. That's it. So I, I assume if you work for NASA in some regard, you can be considered a scientist, but okay. that might be overreaching. But there's uh, Professor Thornton. And Professor Thornton is- Is that that guy right there with the beard? No, that oh. is Dr. Cornelius. Ah. Okay, I was gonna say- he And those like are a, all the characters. I was gonna say, he looks like a Thornton, but then when you said Cornelius, I'm like, but he also but looks But he like looks <laughs> very much like a Cornelius. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there are three characters, Professor Thornton, Dr. Cornelius, and Ms. Hines. Okay. Now- She has no advanced degrees. Uh, or she is a woman, and therefore we are not going to acknowledge them. Again, I know the- bones of this story. No pun intended. But, haha. -ha, but is she meant to, is she attractive? She is 
I, I, she is not unattractive. Okay, because I, I was like, are they doing like a Beauty and the Beast kind of thing? She's more childlike. Yeah, she looks like innocent. Yes, yeah, she like, is meant to be innocent. Simple. She does. <laughs> but you know how like they like often like because Wolverine is a beast. Yes, he is. And is she the beauty? No. Okay. She is not in any way like a totem that he aspires for. Uh, there is she is used by Thornton at the end of the story. Okay. But it is uh, it is only superficial. Okay. But, uh, but that's good. Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right. But yeah, so uh, Professor Thornton, you'll see him in like any adaptation of Weapon X. He is a bald, bespectacled, evil man. Normally you'll see him with a missing hand or a robot arm. Uh, this is mm. because he dealt with Wolverine. Right. And if you do, like a Jedi, you're going to lose something. <laughs> and uh, Thornton also is a pseudonym. It's a fake name, but not when Barry Windsor Smith was working on this book. Uh. They later retconned that he actually has a different name and his last name is Howlett. What? Why? Because he's actually a cousin of Logan. And it's like, why? What are you doing? Knock it off. Why would he? <laughs> why would they do that? Why? Why? Why indeed? Because then it's more of a betrayal. Yes. How would he even know to use him? And it's like, because there's a shadowy figure who is never named or identified in this story who is puppeteering Thornton. Now, of course, Thornton is obsessed with control. He wants to control Wolverine. He wants to turn him into a puppet that he can control and manipulate. Mm -hmm. But he himself is ironically being manipulated and controlled by some other force that we never see. Right. Until they announce who it is. And even then, it's conjecture about who that is but there is a definitive answer. Uh, <laughs> in this book or later? No. Oh, yeah. No, no, in this, it doesn't matter. The point yeah. is that there's always going to be right. someone it's, bigger. It's right. about, like, your life. Yes. Right? Where it's like, there's always someone. You're always working for somebody. Like, exactly. even, like, even when you think that you're in control of yourself. Yeah. There's like, always someone If you really else. think about it, right. like, you're there's tapping someone higher. someone else. Yeah, that's why, like, yeah. Wolverine always likes to be on his own. That's right. And, like, he wants to be a loner because he's just like, that's the most control I can have. But yep. Yeah. Even still, eventually I'll go feral and lose my nose one day, but you know. <sighs> yeah, yeah, but we like to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but the story is structured where we see Logan. He is at the point in his life where he has been a special agent. He has had many stories and many adventures that we've never seen before. <laughs> but it's before he gets the adamantium, so it's before Hulk 181. Uh, but he is wandering aimlessly with no purpose. And he shacks up at a kind of like wayward Christian hotel mm -hmm. that uh, he lies about, about his like beliefs so that he's given a room. He's like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But yeah. like the, the way in which he is depicted is like grotesque in mm -hmm. as much as he's always consuming. He's consuming cigars, cigarettes, pills, beer. Every, he's always pushing things into his mouth. A lot of focus on his hands, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, his, and, and his the beast. Mouth. The, well, the mouth is actually, it's what juxtaposed. It's Wolverine being himself. Like, this is what he does with his life, juxtaposed with Thornton and whoever he has brought into his company before he strong arms Cornelius and Hines into the Weapon X program, uh, experimenting on monkeys. Oh, and of okay. course, monkeys being like the primordial, you know, jumping off point for evolution. You right. know, like we're seeing like man and where we came from and that's juxtaposed together. Like, okay. And like, that's the book. The book is just an exercise in themes and metaphor. And you're just like looking at this thing and you're like, and, and it is an assault on the senses because it is also grotesque and it is also so deep detail oriented and hyper real. And mm -hmm. again, you're like reading Marvel Comics Presents and you're expecting Ghost Rider show up and then suddenly you're reading this. <laughs> and you're like, oh, what the hell is happening? And so Wolverine is doing his thing, which is nothing. And suddenly he is uh, captured by agents of, Do uh, of Professor Thornton and then brought to the facility. Cornelius is disgraced. Mm. Mm. And what I find funny is that Thornton puts together this like blackmail material, but it's all from newspapers about Cornelius being disgraced. It's like, it's already public record. Like everybody <laughs> already knows what you've done. And it's like, maybe it was really long ago that like if I, you know, maybe Cornelius oh. has come up with another identity or he's moved on and he's, you know, it, yeah, it, it maybe like, just allegations it might not be like legally no binding. no one drums this stuff up, I can maybe I could get a job. Exactly. Like, yeah, but I'm always gonna. But I'm always, and I know where you are and I'm mailing that material to you. It'll always yeah. chase after you. In any respect, Thornton blackmails Cornelius into working for him. And then he just hires Heinz. And we just see Heinz's like 
you know, employment record, and uh, she puts a little circles over the eyes for her for her name, mm -hmm. which indicates that she might be more childlike than uh, she yeah, should be. Yeah, she's like for cutesy, and yeah. she's in this like and insane. She's in this horrible, uh, this horror show. Yeah, yeah. And so there, those are your main characters, and they're just working on the program. And like clearly, Thornton like strong arms, like he he has hand selected them right. for this purpose, though he also. I, and I think it's because he knows he can control them. He can control Cornelius through the blackmail. Mm -hmm. He can control Hines because she's already weak-willed. Mm -hmm. And so uh, he's like, all right, perfect, I got my team. And that team is the facilitators of the experiment on Logan. And what their experiment is, is we're just gonna jam them full of adamantium. That's it. I'm just gonna put as much why? in there. Because, I mean, I well, to make why? him the to, weapon X. To make him a weapon for the governments <laughs> of both Canada and the United States. They're both working together on this one. So uh, has he been jamming monkeys with adamantium? I presume. Or he's been prepping the jamming instruments by experimenting on monkeys. Like, okay, well this will penetrate, you know, the walls of your skeletal structure of a monkey, so it will probably work on a man. Uh, but what's interesting is, of course, uh, when they beat on Wolverine, or Logan at the time, and uh, they bring him to the, uh, to the to the facility. Um, number one, Thornton was explicit in that he isn't to be injured. They do. Uh -huh. uh, and he needs to be shaved, which right. they do. And within less than 24 hours, most of his hair has grown back and his injuries are gone. I, got, I gotta tell you, um, if you were the person who they're like, we need this guy shaved, you'd be like, I'm no, going, I'm going home. Yeah, yeah, there's, no. there's no way. There's, there's, it's everywhere. Yeah, uh, it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's like coarse and rough. <laughs> <laughs> I hate hair. Yeah, but do you, do you want to try to see what they're doing with these monkeys? You should be looking I'm, at this. I'm, I'm looking at the monkeys, and I'm like, well, I'm not clear on what oh, part it, you're they not play. Supposed to and there's no narration that explains it. You're supposed to get you it. You just figure it out. You're and maybe maybe it's not supposed to be clear. I mean, maybe it's from the perspective of the monkey. Like, he doesn't understand what's happening. Right. You right. know, it's just horrible. And I, I'm not a scientist <laughs> right, writing this, so, like, I don't really know. I exactly. just know it's, like, it's messed up. Uh, yeah, I know that it ain't pretty. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I don't want it to be, because and, like, I want to tell a story that's Like, this is, he's going to be... This is going to be Wolverine. Yeah. Like, Logan's going to look like that. Yeah. It's going to be really bad. So... That's the plan, and so they just start jamming him with uh, with adamantium. Now the depiction of it is, I think, wonderful, in a horrible way. Of mm -hmm. course, the whole thing. None of this is fun, but uh, <laughs> the way it's depicted is we see narration, and the narration, depending on what color the boxes are, determines who's talking. Who's talking? Yeah. And uh, sometimes it's Thornton, Hines, Cornelius, or other people, or the shadowy figure that controls Thornton. Mm. Uh, but in between those, we also see either what the computer readouts are saying or what the like instrument controllers are saying. Mm -hmm. So between like the punctuating descriptions of like his hair's growing back, they said he was shaved, he was supposed to be, it's his feed, feed. Like they're feeding his body full of this shit. Right. So it's just like, but they, and it's, and it's incessant. Right. You're like, more, I imagine that more. if we're gonna inject him with adamantium, it's probably gonna be like a like a two hour process. No, this is like a routine, intensive feed, feed more, more over here, over here, and like right. just keep it's jamming him like, with shit. It's not like in the movies where they like push a button. Yep, and it just and goes like into a him. cylinder that like drains <laughs> all at once, we see and, it goes, and he goes, <laughs> and yeah. like, and then, and then it, his P flat lines, and then he jumps out of the water. Yeah, and you're like, oh, okay. it's like no, no, this is a process. Exactly, it's not like refined. No, and you it's can like, see just that. Stick some in there, stick some in there, uh, right. more in there. I guess more? Right. Yeah. More. Let's we, see what happens. Yeah. More. Well, let me just check my notes on the last time we injected <laughs> any in, like unstable metal into the skeletal structure of a living man. Oh, wait, we've never done that before. <laughs> there's no perfect process to this, which is why he looks like a porcupine. Like, there's shit, like, everywhere. Oh, yeah. There's moments where we see, like, his hands have, like, needles in them for, like, injection purposes, but they don't want to make him Wolverine. The, their, their plan is not to make him have claws. Not to give him claws that pop. No, the claws are an accident. They what? overfill him oh. and the claws like blast out of him. Like it's too much. <laughs> and so it just pours <laughs> out. No, because they don't know that the, that the bone claws. Yet. There are no bone claws. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's right, Wolverine, yeah. be, pre Wolverine origin never had bone claws. So for this, he's just a guy. Yeah, he has the, like he has his incredible healing metal. factor so, and his hunting ability, but not the the bone claws. So I think that that okay. So I was looking at the monkey thing. Yeah. Or the ape thing. 
whatever. Again, we're looking at this with like modern eyes. So right. it's like the question of like knowing that like, oh, adamantium's rare. Maybe Windsor Smith's like, like no, they can make it. Yeah. Right. So it looks like they are injecting them with it, just based on how some of like the imagery looks similar to with Wolverine. Mm -hmm. But then, and I, I can't tell if this is part of his dream. That is part of the dream, but it's actually it's but actually it's like, foreshadowing. But it also looks like what happens to the monkeys. Right. Yeah. And like part of that looks like that like when they're in, like when they're injected with it, it, they can't handle it. That's right. And that like uh. their bones create barbs, which would then lead you to the expectation of him having the claws. Yes. You know uh. what I mean? Well, in because fact. then later on, like, because right, then you come back to this and you have the skin, but then you see like the like jaw of what looks like an ape. Yes. And like, I don't, you know what I mean? There's so, a ship shooting out of him. Later on, you'll see Wolverine has a nightmare where eventually like just spikes Pour yeah, out so of I him. guess it could yeah. be that, but I'm wondering if it's based on the fact that it's just like no, like the the bodies can't, like the process can happen, but the body can't handle it. That's right. And Wolverine is chosen for this project because we know he has an incredible healing factor. Did he they know this? No. Why did they pick him? Thornton was told to pick him by the other guy. Oh. So while they're working, and in fact, while they're working on him, they are observing like he's growing his hair back, like he's his his wounds are healed, like he's able to handle it, why? And Thornton leaves. Hmm. And he calls the puppeteer, and he, he essentially says like, like how dare you huh. like keep this from me? Hmm. You know, like, the, this I don't- This is very relevant to the procedure. Well, and what's his, his issue is, you know, they asked me questions and I didn't know the answers to them. And I had <laughs> to leave the room. Right. Like an idiot, you know, lest I look stupid. Yeah. And it was just like, yeah, no, he is a mutant. And that's the only reference really to any like Marvel Universe anything. Right. Is they talk about how he is a mutant and because of his mutation, he can survive. Right. And that's why he's been selected. And now you know as much as I'm allowing you to know. Right. So like now you can proceed because you found out the next part. And so then Thornton lords that information over on uh, Cornelius and Hines. Not like that he's, I know more than you, <laughs> but he's just like, of course, he's a, you know, he just he just throws around the term mutant. And mm -hmm. Cornelius like, he's like, like he's mutated? Like, what does that mean? You know, like, I don't read Marvel. Like, I don't know what a capital M <laughs> mutant is. In fact, he <laughs> refers to them, he goes, are you familiar with the term homo superior? And Cornelius like, is we talking about like a Nazi thing? Huh. And he's like, no, like the the designation for mutants. And he's like, are we talking about like mutant rabbits? Like, what are you talking about? And it, he's like, uh, what the, f Do you, don't you read any of this shit? I thought you were from this universe. Aren't you a comic book fan? Don't you know You look shit? like one. You, know, you got your big red beard and your glasses. Right. It's just like, it, it, but I love that. Like that's like as far out of this world as we are allowed to touch. Yeah. But it also is part of the theme of control and about the lack of control or about who wants it and what they do with it when they have it. There's so many panels of him just just being in the water and them just talking about what they're doing to him. Yes. It's like page after page yeah. of that. It's it makes it seem like it's a way longer process. It yeah, is a very long like, process. It's like, oh my God, it's still going. Right. Well, like, because it's never, it's never probably lasted this long. Like, right. We've never actually been able to accomplish any of this shit. Right. They keep dying. Uh, and this is also like the first man we've ever tried it on. Uh, but yeah, he's a he's a pincushion just being shoved with adamantium, and like they can monitor his vital signs, they can watch him, they can keep an eye on him, and uh, eventually they will use their like many wires to control him, because they're also they're, it's not just we're just gonna throw him in this room and just shove metal into him. Mm -hmm. We're also doing like psychological shit to him. Like the conditioning? Conditioning. We're controlling his mind. We're going to be able to like send in post-hypnotic suggestion. And we're also doing memory uh, implants okay. and stuff like that. Like, they, they never I wonder say how that. they thought that they were going to... Control this control, like, wild man. Yeah. yeah, that they like almost didn't get because he beat the shit out of the assailants. Like There right. were like 12 of them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, they, they're going to control him through a mixture of psychosis and technology. Right. And as you can see, you know, they're loaded with it. Mm -hmm. There's right. all kinds of complicated looking, but I love how clunky and like cyberpunkian it is. Yeah. It's all full of color and they're all made, like when we see like the iconic Weapon X image of Wolverine with like the helmet on and everything, he has to carry like batteries with him in order to let the technology actually function. Right. Yeah, and the like batteries, it looks kind of crappy. Yeah, like, and the batteries like hang impractical. off of him and yeah. they're like, the batteries only have range for like this long and this much. And, and, and the batteries also- um... Cover his private parts to keep the <laughs> comics code of authority, you know, so that the, the parent scripts don't lose their minds. Right. But when he's done with one of the procedures, we see the, the claws blast out. They don't, mm -hmm. 
the rest, the non-insane people in this program are just like, oh my God, knives have shot out of his hands. <laughs> and uh, Thornton is quick to be like, no, they're claws. Because he's an animal. You see. <laughs> you see. Uh, but while he is freaking out and his claws are being born, you know, like we, we don't see it. We hear Thornton talk to an orderly, like one of the security forces in the room. He's like, this guy's freaking out. Like, what, 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 he needs medical attention. And Thornton's like, yeah, you should go in there and check it out. <laughs> So he does, and then oh, no. uh, there's a great moment where like Cornelius is called, and Cornelius like finds a couple orders like you, you, and you. Let's go. I'm gonna go check on the uh, the, the specimen. And when they go in there, uh, the orderly Thornton sent in there is dead. He's been stabbed to death by Wolverine's adamantium claws. Yep. And they're all like, "Holy shit! <laughs> this is horrible. Everything we've been doing has been a crime against God and man, but like now a guy died. But now someone's dead. Well, like I knew that guy. And it's gross. Like yeah. it's all over the place." Look what he did. Right? And so, but but it's like, Logan, you know, he had a hard time. You know, he's pill popping, he's alcohol yeah. abusing, but, he, but, he, but it was his life. Right. It was He was beaten. making those choices. Yeah, he was yeah. beaten, brought to a place he's unfamiliar with, shoved with shit, tortured, and then he wakes up and somebody's like, hey! <laughs> he accidentally kills them. Also, probably from the conditioning as well. I yeah. mean, it's made that, to be a killing instrument. Pretty intensely accidentally killed him. His, his ribs are shooting out of his body. Yeah. And his yeah. ribs are attempting to leave his chest. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. Well, well, Wolverine opened him up. Uh, but and invited them out. That's right. Uh, but like the look on his face is that of like that juxtaposition of him like not asking for any of this, coming to and then being screamed at immediately. Yeah. It's like getting a new dog and the dog immediately pees on the floor and you're yelling at the dog. Yeah. It's like the dog doesn't know what he did. Right. And neither does Wolverine. Not to animalize Wolverine more than the characters already have. Uh, but, you know, Thornton's like, this is awesome. Like, this is, go <laughs> this is going great. Excellent. That's awesome. Yeah, Wolverine's smashing through the observation screen <laughs> and then just attacking everybody. But before he's able to do so, he just passes out because mm. he's just exhausted. Is, you know. Wow. Like, oh, yeah, he looks into his face and all he sees is, like, rage and fury and hate. And it's just like, you know, it's just, but it's a man who has been tortured. Thornton otherizes him. Everyone he talks about him talks about like, oh, he's just an animal or he's full of rage and hate. Right. And it's like, you, yeah, you give him six retractable knives yeah. and beat yeah, a whose man. Whose fault is that? Up. Whose fault is that, exactly. <laughs> but you know, you can see him, uh, you know, sometimes he's in a bed of wires. Sometimes he's sleeping on the wires. In many <laughs> de depictions before he becomes Wolverine, he is entangled in the wires. Right. He mm -hmm. is like, he is still in Thornton's control throughout the story. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so then they do the psychic conditioning to him. Um, it's when this happens that Cornelius is like, what's going on here? And Thornton's like, I'm gonna need you to say you trust me. And Cornelius is like, I don't know if I can do that. Mm. And Thornton's Why would like, I? well, I will explain it to you if you, and it's like such a simple thing. Like, it's like, sure, all right, I'll lie about that and say I trust you, but like, no, it's like Thornton needs you to say. Right. That you trust me. I need to control you too mm -hmm. in that way. I already control you by blackmail, but I also want you to volunteer your, your I want you to submit to me. Mm -hmm. And so he does, and when you and the three panel su su submission sequence is Cornelius becoming enveloped in shadow. Mm. He loses himself when he gives himself, when he gives more of himself to Thornton. Mm. It's like, oh my God, mm -hmm. we're in a book. <laughs> well, Thornton goes off about what Logan's supposed to be and how he's going to be a weapon. We see that like Logan contorts as he rails against the bondage that he is enveloped in. Like the wires become this cage and he tries to pull against them. Mm -hmm. Though eventually he does use the weapons that were given to him by this bondage, uh, the claws, to cut free. And mm -hmm. when he does, that's when they like open fire on him. Oh, geez. Because they know now that he can take it. Right. Oh, we can, we can go just shy of murdering this guy. He may be functionally immortal. Right. So we right. can we can we can kill him forever, <laughs> effectively. Uh, but yeah, like this is the scene I think of every time is like just with the wires. It's like yeah. he's just in this like he's yeah. in a sarcophagus of wires. Yeah. Well, what are you doing with all those wires? Well, wait, 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 they can't all be plugged into something. <laughs> but like even the room itself that they're in, this is like oh, the command center. Tubes. Like the, the the command center is always this really small cramped room that they always put Thornton, Hines, and Cornelius in mm -hmm. with Wolverine or without Wolverine. Mm -hmm. But it's all those wires coming out of the walls. Yeah. They're like, they, they go, it's, it's like this like fly-by-night operation where they're like, we need all the power. We need all these machines. Yep. And at the We're end of the day- We're not routing these wires neatly. We're no. Just, we're just 
<laughs> we need because because Thornton is not interested in expedient. He, he, because Thornton is interested in getting it done. Right. He wants the control. He wants to have it now. He wants to have this weapon now. I'm imagining Ethan having a meltdown in this room. <laughs> no, I'm just being like, oh no, I'm just gonna have to go home. I have to leave. Nope. 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 Uh, I, I will say. It does remind me of some server rooms yeah. <laughs> I've encountered with the tangles of wires because people just did what was expedient. Exactly. Like said, it's like we don't have time. This is not a like sanctioned government <laughs> lab, right? No. This is like they hired us right. because it's off the books mm -hmm. and they hired us because we will do like insane things. We're not organized people. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're not going to get visits from the Pentagon. Yeah, you know? nobody's checking in to exactly. see if like this is all done. Up to code. Up to code, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so as they start their kind of like mental conditioning, mm -hmm. uh, Cornelius explains like, so you'll, you can communicate to him through the headset, he gives him a headset. He's like, so this headset, you'll be able to talk to him. And Thornton immediately is like, you are mine. You're controlled by me. <laughs> like you're, you're an animal, Logan. And Cornelius like, dude, it's not working yet. I'm <laughs> telling you, you will use it when it's it's just, oh, okay. it's I just got a little excited. Horribly embarrassing. I just, <laughs> I love that where he's like, dude, he's like, you will you have one master and it's me. You'll do anything I say. And he goes, uh, yeah, it's not on yet. And he's like, oh, well then get on with it. <laughs> uh, so then they turn it on and it overloads the system but it's still functioning. And then we see on the big view screen like what Wolverine sees. Oh, you mean the room full of wires, something overloaded the screen? I don't know how that would happen. <laughs> I mean, everything clearly <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> yeah, they checked they every box. They could not have foreseen that. They clearly that. know everything that's plugged into everything else. Right. Oh, maybe not? maybe it's this wire here that we don't know what it is, or these like 30 wires that we don't know what they do. <laughs> yeah, but we see inside Wolverine or Logan's head and it projects like that's, so we can see what we're telling him to do or what he's what he needs to see or think. Uh, when we're sending him on missions and shit, you know, inevitably when we do that. And we just see, like, a, a skeletal structure form on the screen that is Wolverine. It's, like, grotesque it's, and, he, like... He morphs into distorted. a skeleton, a living skeleton of spikes that demands to be to be told what's wrong with him. What have you done to me? It's October 1991. Inside the room of wires, <laughs> a scary, a spiny skeleton. <laughs> a skeleton appears on the screen. That's right. <laughs> I don't know what the date is. I <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Thornton's like, turn it off. And he's like, we can't. That's what's coming out of the guy's head. <laughs> like, but right. uh, I can't turn off his brain. That's I what he's shoot doing. Him, I yeah, he's like, we're not sending this in. Well, quick, pull the wire. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> but that jolts Wolverine Logan awake and he grabs Hines immediately. And she says, not me. <laughs> she is. And then later on, she will explain like, I can't handle physical pain. Like, please don't hurt me. Like, do anything you want, but I cannot handle being physically hurt. But Thornton demands that Logan let her go, and he throws her off, and you could see, like, the giant, horrible projection of him is looking at Thornton <laughs> while wow. Wolverine's going towards him. Thornton calls for security teams. They are like, he's like, Tri fire Tranks! He's like, there's like all these people. There's like three or four people in here. So just fire them! There's open fire into the room of Tranks. Wolverine is tranked, and Thornton's like, well, we failed. Kill him. Kill it. Get it out of here. It's oh. over. It tried to kill me. Huh. <laughs> I, I don't want any part of it. That's it's it. over. Yeah. Well, oops. You know, literally three, like two pages ago. Yes, you are mine. You. Oh, oh, I have no control over it. Well, then I run. Oh, you didn't listen to me. I don't want it. I didn't even want it anymore. <laughs> Get it out of here. It's garbage. And then I love that Elvie's like, I will do. I've been experimenting, and I've been working on animals. And I got room. this guy, and it took us a while to even get to this point. Yep. And literally, one thing goes wrong. Throw in the garbage. I haven't Whole even. Thing. I haven't even started the actual mental. No. Yep. Anything. It didn't work immediately, so I don't even want it. He doesn't like me. No. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yeah, but I made him. That's that. He should be thanking me, yeah. actually. Yes. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, they also observe, uh, Heinz observes that his claws go back into his hands. Mm. But every time they come out and every time they go in, blood shoots out. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, hands don't work that way. So they start like coming out and in. There's like popping out, popping in. And they're like, what is that? And Cornelius observes maybe it's like some kind of a reflex. Good mm -hmm. thing he didn't have those out when he grabbed you, well, right. Professor. Like, You'd be dead. He's like a dog or a cat. He's dreaming. Yeah. Yeah. And funny. then we see on the screen what Wolverine is thinking Wait, of. Really? <laughs> And it's Thornton's face impaled by three holes. <laughs> With three holes. You're just like. Nice. Oh, okay. Like, oh yeah, he's he's doing that because in his dream he's killing you. That's exactly it. <laughs> A lot. Yeah. Just 
kill, kill. And this is pretty kill, much when kill. Thornton like loses his love for Logan. Mm. He doesn't stop the program, but this is when he like he doesn't look at him anymore like with any reverence. Not, not that he did, right. but now he's like, oh, he I'm gonna kill punish me. you. What a jerk. What an asshole. Fuck this guy. So <laughs> For everything I did for him. Right, so they literally, they, they, <laughs> they cover him in sheep's blood and put him out into the wilderness. What? They're just Why? like, well, let's test it out. Let's test out this new, it's presumably oh, some time. Oh, to make things has, attack him. Yes, yes. Oh my so God. the wolves can come for him. Well, right. it looks like a werewolf. Yeah, the wolves are going to look not like hyper wolves. stylized. Yeah. There, he will also fight a bear that does not really look like a bear. Listen. They're not all going to be winners. <laughs> well, I, I mean, like, well, what, uh, it's supposed to look like a Wolverine, horror show. It's how Wolverine feels not all, that is happening. Not, not all not artists can draw a car, either. <laughs> That's so true. It's, it, it, it's, right. it's pretty spectacular. He does draw a Siberian tiger. And I think that while it's not necessarily the most accurate, it also is spectacular looking. So, Siberian tiger. Now. Yeah. They, <laughs> they like, Thornton fly calls one it, in? I guess. Thornton calls it a From snow leopard. From the Savage Land? A snow leopard? And they're like, it's a Siberian tiger. It's not even close. A snow leopard would be adorable and fun. He'd be like and much smaller. Around. He'd throw a pumpkin in there. And You're just be all, a good day. Yeah, and wow. it's not even about Logan anymore. <laughs> so, it, it, I mean, it's a book about how the, these people are messing around with things they don't even understand. Yes. Oh, yeah, no, they're just, they're, they're, they are they're just like trial and error. Hey, yeah. how about uh, we throw a bunch of wolves at them? See what happens yeah. with that. Uh, those aren't wolves. Those are like wild dogs. <laughs> yeah. So they cover him in sheep's blood and they lure the, the wolves to him. And they got cameras like everywhere. Okay, hang on. I just want to back up one more time. I know you're trying to get through this section. Um, they just had sheep's blood. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that's on hand. Just that's on tap. Yeah. <laughs> well, I sent uh, oh, Heinz to go to a nearby farm and just and grab them. Some. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I mean, okay. I assume that they're there, doing some kind of sheep-related experimentation like, in the next wind. There's like right. no way there is a farm anywhere within like 50 miles of this place. <laughs> I don't know. They're in the they're in the Canadian wilderness. I assume Ew. there is definitely a farm somewhere. I assume somewhere. there's nothing anywhere near them. I, mean, well, I would like hope trees. not. When you see when inevitably Wolverine will escape, yeah. and when you see it, it's, what? he looks like he's in like the Arctic. Like, it's just like. <laughs> Which, of course, most of Canada is, so, I mean, it makes sense. You know, it's just, a, it's an uninhabitable wasteland of snow. It's a tundra. Right. But uh, anyway, so, we just see him just standing there, and he's just he just looks like this broken man. Why is he just standing there? What am I going to do? Leave? I can't. I, there's cameras literally come out of the ground. There's no way I can just walk out This whole here. place is a cage. But he's also being controlled. Like, he's right. being... Yeah, they're it's actually, like the, in his brain. The control is working now? Yes. Okay. So we have to have jumped ahead a, a little bit of time. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, so they, they, the wolves engage him, and uh, they're like, all right, well, like, you know. Look like they said he wasn't reacting on the other No, he wasn't. No, he's just standing yeah. there. Well, he's, like, he's like, kill me. He's like, I don't care. Yeah, maybe he does want to die. Yeah. But uh, once the wolves engage him, then he, like, turns on. Mm -hmm. And he becomes this, like, ferocious animal like, with a berserker rage. And in fact, this book seeks to explain like where the Berserker Rage came from. Like Wolverine was a scrapper before he had the adamantium. But after the adamantium, he became like the animal that he, that you love him for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where he's just like, don't get near me here, I'll freaking kill you with my six nines. <laughs> that Wolverine, the Wolverine depicted on my shirt, that Wolverine came after the, after the adamantium process. Mm -hmm. yeah. after, the, after the animal got his claws. Mm -hmm. After the PTSD sunk in. Exactly. Right. Uh, so uh, as he pops the claws, he starts like really getting the upper hand on these things. And they're like, okay, turn on the like exothermal x-ray yeah, vision I, things on the cameras. And we can see like the, the, the circulatory system and the musculature of his hands. We can see like how the claws kind of work and whatever, don't worry about that. It's just kind of cool looking. <laughs> I, uh, I I gotta tell you, um, these people are the worst, like they, okay. Oh, they're not scientists. Like, no, they're, they're, they're the worst in every way possible. I'm like, okay, so wait, you literally went ahead and you doused him in sheep blood that you got from someplace questionably yep in order to get wolves who did nothing wrong no right to attack him and to then be slaughtered. have him yeah kill them all oh yeah. yeah oh no after he's done he's like Arr! and thornton is like oh this is amazing heinz do we have more he looks like he wants more she's like no we don't have more wolves <laughs> Yeah, this pack was the only one for the, you know, in the, in this 200 ecosystem. square miles. Yeah, you've just completely thrown <laughs> off the ecosystem of this entire wilderness. The deer will run rampant. Was it worth it? <laughs> yes, look at him. Look at how beautiful he is. He's roaring like an animal. And like, and Cornelius is like, dude, I think he's, I think he's upset. <laughs> like, I don't think he's... Looks like he's having a bad time. I don't yeah. think he's enjoying himself. Right? But then he just collapses. Like, they're like, all right, well, turn him off. 
Oh. So they switch him off and he just falls to his knees and then collapses in the offal and like discarded wolf bodies. And they're like, oh, send a team. And Thornton's like, no, leave him there the night. Oh. Just, to, just, just to wallow in his splendor. Right. He, we know he'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Yikes. And then eventually, like, you know, the next morning they go and collect him. Thornton's like, that was an unmitigated success. <laughs> I gotta tell you, everything about that was exactly what I wanted. He's like, I'm making a Jeez. note here. A huge success. That's right. He's like, well, we are ready for human trials. Like, we gotta get him to hunt people. And they're like, ah. Oh. Yikes. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, murdering a pack of wild dogs, while impressive, is also not exactly, now, you know, like, the end game. Now, Cornelius, Hines, rest of the team. <laughs> How did you not see this coming? Right. Based on the person you're working with. Here? Well, they, they're they they're like, we don't know why Heinz is here. Right, but, but we do know Cornelius right. really has no other choice. Right, but still, you're looking around. How do you not, ex like, you're like, oh, you know what? I should have seen that coming. Yeah, that's exactly where this guy is going. We are going to be killing human beings. Okay. Uh... Yeah, but for the government. Right. No, no, no. It's not like, oh, just send yeah. Charlie out there. Yeah, he's a soldier. Yeah. Well, that's what he's they say. He's going to be killing people. He says, like, he is a soldier. Like, he signed up for this anyway. Mm. Like he belongs to the government as it is. There's a horrible sequence, and it's only horrible because of like the horrors we've endured <laughs> and the like way in which it's described. But like when they retrieve him and they start like they're like, all right, start sticking more tubes into him. <laughs> more uh, tubes. Hines says the computer indicates that there's leakage of semen and marrow into this intercellular fluids. And one of the attending doctors goes, "You're the computer boys. We're losing goop. Keep those holes plugged." <laughs> and uh, for one thing. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> and for another, he re he clearly refers to Heinz as a computer. Like mm. she is, she is a machine. Wow. She is not part of this team. Well, she's here to get. She's she's doing the she thing. She reads the computer. Yeah. Yep. Yes, I have one job. It's yep. stupid. Yep. I'm going to do it. Wow. But yeah, you heard the computer. That's when it turns out that she actually is an android. And oh my god. Well, and what's horrible is like, of course, we have to like add more to this stuff like who is the mysterious voice right. uh, what happens what of what of cornelius and of course we, we, about like well hang on let's get to the well, end because we don't know that some of these characters we yeah. just know that like shady government does things to wolverine and then he's yeah. bad that's right yeah. and so, cold yeah he has no clothes on well yeah that's true and we got batteries hanging off of him and we're just checking it out like watch this i can pop each claw individually mm, so they're getting more precise control over him Instead exactly just like Attack the wolves. Yeah. Why, Stop. Would, why don't like, you just make a robot then? I know. Well, I well because I, well, robots a robot, are hard. Well, robots are hard. <laughs> I need like an I need like an electrical engineering degree, and I right. don't have. I don't have that. that. I, I, know I don't a even little have bit the about biology. Right. Also, like I already immediately have control over a robot. I'd have to break a human spirit in order. Yeah, to that's get. not that's the fun only reason. Like for robots me. are built to be controlled. Humans aren't. Yeah, There's but a challenge plus, there. like, I gotta have like buy servos and stuff, and this guy's already got muscles. Yeah, like to do that. Exactly. So I just have to like stick a couple like wires in him, and boom. Yeah, a perfect you know? machine is man. But uh, <laughs> so they're, they're like showing what they can do, and the like crew that Cornelius brought in to like attend and help starts making fun of Wolverine. Wow. He's like, oh, look at him go! Like, woohoo! Whip it up. He, he likes the walkies. Look at him go. Oh my and God. Thornton is like, shut the fuck up, everybody! Like, what kind of rabble did you bring in here, Cornelius? Get everybody out of here! Huh. And it's, it's because they're belittling his work. Like, that's right. he doesn't care about Wolverine's. No, like, yeah. They're making fun of the, the project. Yeah, exactly. Cornelius has been reduced to essentially giving Thornton his coffee at this point. <laughs> they're talking I didn't about. spitting it, I swear. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> all the time. But uh, he talks about. Like, There's goop in it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Thornton is like, we're not ready. Like, it's, you know, he, I know we can control, like, literally every muscle in his body at this point, but I'm still not convinced because one time he almost killed me. Right. It's not enough. Right. More. And, and I yeah. guess he used to love me. Yeah, right. Well, Cornelius is like, we'll just spit in his eye and see if he spits back, man. Like, what do you want? Like, yeah. You know, so then. How much more control do you need? Exactly. So Cornelius leaves. And Thornton like stands over Logan and he just pours his coffee on him. Just dumps it all over his face. And when it doesn't like awaken him, he's like, all right. He's ready. He's ready. But it's also, it's this is not a test. This is just Thornton yeah. being a piece of shit. Just yep. being like, this is what I can do to you. That's, that's, I mean, I do like, I, I think that's exactly what Windsor Smith wanted to do, but also, you know, he can't just pee on him because that would be inappropriate. Yeah, that <laughs> would be outrageous. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So also that would be too animalistic and he's not the animal. Exactly. No, right. he'd pee on something. Right. I pour my coffee. Right. My refined beverage that's yes. the product of, you know, millennia of human development. That's right. That's right. 
then they send Weapon X out to fight a bear. He fights the demon bear. He fights That's... the demon bear from New Mutants. Uh, yeah. No, it's just a bear. And, and he, be he immediately beheads it. Just boom, boom, boom. It's over. There's no fun. He didn't, he, he like, he went in on it with those wolves. But right. the bear just, yeah, he's... Well, the wolves are a pack. Right. Yeah, and he didn't have like all the machinery and stuff. That's true. Well, they didn't have as much control. He, yeah. he it, but also he didn't want to fight those wolves. And, right. There was almost too much of him fighting the wolves. This yeah. is more like the controlled, you know, Weapon X program. Right. So, uh, it's a, it's it's after the death of the bear that, that Thornton's like, all right, people, let's do this. It's gonna be great. And, uh, and they're like, oh, there's See no how fast he killed that bear. He's ready to go. That's right. That's right. So Cornelius is like, this is messed up. Like we're <laughs> oh, now. Well, like. I didn't sign up to start killing people with this guy, even though clearly that was where we were going with it. Right. But I but feel now horrible. that we're there. Now that we're there, I, I don't like it. And he's explaining to Hines, like Thornton left, and he's talking to everybody. He's like, well, he's like I, mean, I, I assumed this experiment was going to fail, and it didn't, so now right. we're here. Yeah, and, I did not uh, see us getting this far. You know, I saw the monkey research, and I was like, oh, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> I'll be home in no time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, my check, and, uh, well, it didn't work. Oh, well. Right? Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe maybe that's why she's not a doctor or whatever. Maybe like she is a computer person. That's why she worked for NASA. Right. Yeah. She does seem to interface mostly with the computers. Like that is that is her primary function. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, then the alarm goes off because uh, Wolverine starts murdering everybody. <laughs> he's talking about. He's talking about. It. He's like, well, I think we're ready. And then yeah. and then Logan just gets unleashed. He she, starts killing all his orders. Calling him Mr. Logan. Yeah. She knows his name. Oh. She's poor. She she keeps her. She's the only one. Mm. Who calls him by his name? Right. Yeah. So Cornelius is like, "Hey, uh, Professor, what the what the crap's happening?" And Thor's like, "Damn you! Are you insane? Like, why? How could you do this to me?" And so the next sequence is just, just Logan killing people. Huh. He should have laughed at me about my walking. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so he's he's slaughtering everybody left and right. But Thornton is trying to contact the other person, uh. the 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 overseer. That that ought to fix it. Well, he's like, "What are you doing?" Oh, he thinks that guy has. Oh, and he does. Uh. He's like, yeah, no. He flipped, he's like, oh, I see. Like you're like the the program says success. There are too many witnesses. Yep. You're culling the the herd. Okay, yep. like you're. I believe they call it dead, getting rid of dead wood. Mm. But uh, they're mm. they're 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 dialing it down. So like, okay, we're covering our tracks, killing most of these people. But he's not going to come to me. But not me, he? right? Right? Because right. yeah. you know I'm your loyal servant, even though I'm also like you know top dog here. <laughs> But the sequences of Wolverine like slaughtering people is awesome and spectacular and uh, what you'd come to expect from Wolverine, of course. Mm -hmm. um, you've seen it before, but now see it in stunning almost realism. Uh -huh. <laughs> what's like what's like frustrating and genius about it is that normally there'd be a catharsis from Wolverine like getting revenge on his tormentors, but then you find out, no, it's all part of the plan yeah. of the guy pulling the strings. Like, yeah. He's still doing what he's With not getting else. like like revenge and no. freeing himself. He's just killing these people because that's what the big guy wants. Exactly. It's exactly. Like, oh. Logan does seem to have a primary target. But is that primary target from him or from? Right. Uh, we assume it's from Thornton's master, but also that maybe there's some element of Logan that's directing it. Right. Because of course we saw from like the projection earlier. Yeah, we know he does want. He really kill wants him. to kill that guy though. Yeah. yeah. Or like, it's like if you kill all these people, then you can go kill him. That's your reward. That could be the reward. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. Uh, so uh, Thornton sends like. You know, wave after wave of security forces <laughs> right. to try and reach his killer. Because he's a good person and, like, you know. Oh, yeah, no, he's a guy. great boss. <laughs> but uh, uh, Thornton is, like, watching the wrong thing because Wolverine just pops out of the bottom, like, out of the, out of the floor. Oh, man. And he's like, oh, ho! It's awesome. Um, so he reaches there and uh, he immediately chops off Thornton's hand. The security forces get there and they're, like, recovering him. There's a moment where he's like, I have my glasses, I can't see. And like, as he's being dragged, one of the security guys like puts his glasses on for him. <laughs> and he's like, please, my, oh my, my hand is gone. Kill him, <laughs> kill him immediately. And this is like the, the, the one he of the more. He needed his glasses wow. to know his hand was gone or is he just in shock? Uh, uh, probably both. But like, you. Right, like how nearsighted are you? <laughs> It's pretty wet down here, and also you. there's not something flapping around on the end of my arm well, but, he, but he, he could have phantom limb syndrome. But uh, uh, Heinz and Cornelius like go to meet with the professor. The professor's like, I'm bleeding to death, get me out of here! I'd be like, no. Right. Yeah. No, Cornelius is like, all right, let's go. Uh, so like, there, there's no medic on on hand. Like Heinz and Cornelius like, collect the professor, and they're like, hey, can you walk? He's like, I can run! <laughs> let's uh. do this. So they go, and they, uh, they, they seal themselves off in like, like a, like a, yeah. What's well, says danger? It's like they're going someplace. Yeah, they're going into the reactor, I think. Oh. Yeah, like, but I guess they'd rather take their chances with the reactor than Wolverine. That's right. Yeah, they would Which, take their chances. That just said that. <laughs> I know. 
Touche. Yeah, see, it is definitely that. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because, like, they say that, like... Right, the radi- oh, radiation right, yeah, yeah. Okay, there yeah. is a radiation hazard, but... Uh, mm-hmm. Well, yeah. you know, there's a percentage chance in here. Right, right. There's a there's zero. They'd rather die slowly from radiation poisoning than, than like immediately from, from Logan. Yeah. So as they're entering the reactor, uh, Thornton directs Hines to collect the weapon of one of the dead security forces, and then immediately demands that he hand it that she hand it to Cornelius. <laughs> uh, and th- I love this depiction of that. Like Cornelius reluctantly takes it, and she. He's like, "What am I going to do with this yeah, he's thing?" Like, I, I, he's like, "I'm a doctor. I don't." Yeah, know. you're a man, aren't you? Yeah. Well, the plan, <laughs> like the plan is like Thornton wants to be able to remotely control Logan from here, and if we can't, then Cornelius will shoot one of the battery packs that Logan's carrying and that will blow him uh, to kingdom come. Ah, uh, okay. Would it also make them explode too? Eh, let's not worry about that right now. Uh, so <laughs> they do. It's a very specific Logan sized explosion. Right, but while they're doing that, you know, Thornton is also like feverishly trying to reach his master. He's like, please don't let me die in here. Yeah. And they're like, uh, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Uh, inevitably, um, you know, Logan makes his way through there and then arrives uh, through the ceiling. Hi. You think you keep thinking I'm gonna come through a door. But I yeah. don't. But I don't have to. But I have six yeah. keys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also like why'd you go into the radiation room? Like, I can heal from the radiation yeah, effects. I'll go in here all day. So I think it's because they could seal it. You know, it was right. like they, they thought felt they might have been more, secure. more protective. Yeah. Uh, so when Wolverine finds them, he just stands there. And Thornton's like, Well kill him, shoot him, like blow him away. And Courtney's like, he's not moving anymore. Like, he's just standing there. Right. Like, maybe the top dog did, like, I mean, this is also my speculation. Also, like, a hundred security guys couldn't shoot him to death. Exactly. Like, why yeah. wouldn't well, I Well, they didn't have the it? idea to shoot the oh, battery Oh, that's true, pack. the batteries. Yeah, and Cornelius is like, I can do it. Like, I can shoot him. I, and, I love the, that, like, none of them even came close to even, like, nicking accidentally. That nope. Yeah, hitting the battery. Uh, also, that's, this is your weapon? Right. And you just hit one battery pack and he's done? Well, I mean, like, well, on the, uh, the battery, but look, he's not ready yet, you know? Well, right, oh, so this is a prototype, the or there'll be armor around the battery. you were saying he's ready to go, like, kill people. Yeah, yeah, well, he yeah. clearly is doing that right now. He's doing a bang-up job. So uh, <laughs> He's like the Boston Dynamics robot when it's still got, like, the tether to the ceiling. You're like, yeah, how's like, that going to be, how are you going to use well, that? Well, eventually like, it won't have a tether. Like, it'll oh, be okay. working on its own. <laughs> okay, but it sounds like, it looks like it needs a lot of power to operate. Though. Right, like, I, I don't think we have that much power in batteries right now. Yeah, like, are you Maybe also like working on years? power? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you working on your battery technology too? No. And you're not going to tell me that they're solar powered, are you? Because that's not going to work for me. Yeah, Wolverine's solar power. Yeah. <laughs> he's like all of us. Get out there, Wolverine. So uh, Cornelius won't shoot him because he's like, he's not actually doing anything. And then Thornton punches him in the back of the head, which causes Cornelius to fire. Oh. And so he shoots both the console and Logan. Uh, Logan collapses into it. And Cornelius is so taken aback by Wolverine's resilience. He's like, he's still alive, this is incredible. And he walks over to him and Wolverine just, boom. Yeah. Jabs him right in the stomach, lifts him into the air, blood pours out of him down Wolverine's arm, and then he just discards him. Thornton makes his way out of there. Hines begs that they go back and check on Cornelius, and he's like, nope. Yeah, uh, he's gone. <laughs> he's dead, you stupid woman, let's go. <laughs> and he's like, well, here's what we're gonna do. Mm. We're gonna go to the exhaust pit. This is where like they, blow off excess radiation and it like goes into this like chamber that just that is discarded someplace. It's a big epic big room <laughs> where fire shoots out one end and a bottomless pit comes out the bottom. And he's like, here's what we're gonna do because he refused to murder you, okay? He's like, we're gonna lead Logan into the pit and then I'm gonna go into the reactor and I'm gonna like turn it on. It's gonna blast him and he's gonna be a charred cinder and then it's gonna be discarded down into the thing. Mm-hmm. And that's the plan. He's like, listen. Hines, you gave everything for this experiment. Like, you believe in this thing. Are you cool with dying for it? <laughs> what? And she's like, no. <laughs> yeah, what? Why would I be? And he's like, okay, so like, here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> he just pushes her over the side. Oh my God. And so she falls and he's like, oh, and make sure not to break your neck while you're down there because he wants to like use her right. like a goat luring a T-Rex. Right. Like, sh- she'll be down there. If you're already there. dead, then he, he won't, won't go for you. Yeah. He'll, he'll go right for me. I know, I saw the footage. Right. Uh, so she falls and she hurts herself, but she's not dead. And he's like, okay, good. Make sure to scream and yell. I want to be drawn down there. Oh my and God. Uh, he's like, think of all the horror. Just use your imagination. Oh. As like, things are exploding behind them. They're just enveloped in all this carnage. And uh, Logan like, appears before her and she just screams bloody murder and uh, he's like okay and he's got like the he's got his hand on the on the receiver that's gonna like 
shoot the exhaust or whatever it's mm -hmm. gonna do. And she's like, hey, Mr. Logan, like, please don't kill me. Like, I, I, I can't, like, you know, I can't handle physical pain. I just can't. <laughs> and he's like, oh, please, Ms. Hines. Like, you know, this is Thornton yelling yeah. from his, like, you know, room. He's like, please, don't, don't debase yourself like that. Don't beg. You know, you want to speak, you're, you're literally going to be alive for another few seconds and you're going to be, you're going to waste it begging for your life. And Logan whispers and he says, I understand you. Hmm. And he says, you don't matter to me. And then he looks up and he says, I want, and he sees Thornton. Mm -hmm. And then Thornton purges the system. And so the upper area starts like shooting fire or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, we opened the fission gate. Run, Mr. Logan. And she bails and he is enveloped in fire and like his hair and skin melts off his body. And Thornton's like, yes, I did it. I killed him. And then he just- Why, why would he, you think that? Like, why? Because <laughs> well, right? he doesn't why, know like, that Wolverine can regenerate from like a single blood cell. <laughs> That's true. But like, you've Neither seen does him, Smith, but you've he, seen him come back from, from everything. Yeah, those from are everything. bullets though. This is radiation. I burned his, <laughs> I burned his skin off. And so- This is nuclear. Uh, this is how you kill listen, like the monster. Right, even the, if we exactly. take the scientific uh, stuff out of this, you, this really hasn't been your day. No, it's true. Yeah. I wouldn't like- You've been wrong at every turn. Like so- but what else are you gonna do? Yeah. Right? Like I don't have a better thing to do well, than I disintegrate. Him. I wouldn't celebrate it. No, I would no, just that's leave. true. I wouldn't do a dance right now. Yeah, just run. Yeah. So, by the way, this is when Hines leaves. She says, "Run, Mr. Logan." So this is how Wolverine remembers that his name is Logan. Oh. Uh, so huh. he 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 just Logan comes back up. You know, he's just this. He's this smoking, burning husk right. of right. a corpse. Uh -huh. And Thornton thinks that the puppeteer is moving him, that he's mm, dead, right. and he's just using him as a puppet to right, kill him. Right. And he's like, you're still transmitting, you're a walking dead man. And Logan just jumps to the window again. And he says, is that, what I'm, is that what you're doing to me? Am I dead? I'm a walking dead man? He goes, you're an animal. Thornton tries to call for security. Logan hacks off the other hand. <laughs> he goes, so you think that makes us even? Well, I don't. And then pops all three claws into Thornton's face. Oh, that's what he always threatens to do in the show. Well, yeah, that's true. But he's not allowed to. Right? But when he does, <laughs> uh, we see that like he, he carries his body out, and that's like the exact image that we saw on the screen mm. the first time. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right. So then Logan chucks his body down the fissure gate, and into his body is engulfed in fire. And then Logan passes out, and he wakes back up, and he sees this whole screen. And he's, he's not being controlled. Mm -hmm. And he's just kind of like, holy shit. And he doesn't remember what happened to him. He's just like, I'm covered in blood, but it's not mine. Like, what's going on? So he he, he sees like the severed hand of, uh, of Thornton. And he's like, holy <laughs> shit, well, that's messed up. Well, that's and, a guy's uh, hand. What? Right? But while he's doing this, we also hear like- He's like, also, I'm naked. He does yeah. say that. He goes, I'm butt naked. What the hell is this? <laughs> so he decides, okay, I'm, well, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, as, he's, as he goes through the facility, he comes across uh, Cornelius's dead body. And he's like, whew, who did this? <laughs> oh, he doesn't know he has the claws? No. Oh, wow. Well, he doesn't know that he did all this. Right. Right. He'll, he'll notice the claws soon enough, but uh, okay. he sees that his wounds are, 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 are healed and there's blood everywhere, but it's not his. And he's like, did I cut that man's hand off? Like, is that what happened? Like, mm -hmm. And uh, so then he looks at his hands and then his claws pop. But they're those little, like, those little, like, guards yeah, yeah, that yeah, they yeah. drew originally. Yeah. That's where the guards come. Those are the like blood stopping guards. Oh. They're, they're not part of the gauntlets that he wears when he was first invented. They're actually like these like. Did she put those in? I assume that like they put them. They in, put them right in, like yeah. over time. Okay. But uh, yeah, so they pop out and he's like, "What the shit is happening to me?" And uh, as like the the voice of of Thornton echoes in his head about an animal, he runs. And when he runs away, and he has like a, a dream or like a vision okay. of mm. spikes coming to get him and like the spikes coming out of him and the, he's being grabbed and used and he's running and he can't stop and he's being told he's a monster and an animal and a beast. Yeah, and, look at those things that look like wires. Right, oh no. Mm. And uh, he says just like, there's something out of the black that's coming for me and it's free and it wants revenge and it's gonna get me and it's everywhere. And uh, he just bursts into more, you know, spikes and bones and barbs and uh, inevitably he makes his way out and we see that there is a uh, a Siberian tiger outside waiting for him. He cuts <laughs> through the uh, through the through the gate that leads outside and comes face to face with this uh, Siberian tiger. Or, it's not a Siberian tiger. Well, that's what they say. <laughs> 
I mean, I guess it could be. Uh, Thornton misidentifies it. You know what it, it is? It's because of the fact that it's not colored. I mean, like, because yeah. it's, it's meant to look, like, dark. I yes. it's not big enough either, but yeah. maybe it's a young one. Yeah. But uh, Thornton identifies it as a snow leopard, and uh, Hines corrects him as a uh, Siberian tiger. Yeah. And you're like, oh, wait a minute. Th at least one of those dudes is dead. What's going on here? Right. Oh, my God. Did everything I just read, uh, was that a simulation? Right. That was, like, in his... That was all part of the program to see, A, how much we could control him, and B, like, what could happen. That, like, the image we saw echoed from him killing Thornton is actually just all a simulation, right? But now, that simulation has led him out of the facility and outside into another testing program. Right. This one being he fights the Siberian tiger, and he guts it. Yeah. And the, the, the continued uh, ongoing discussion between Cornelius and Thornton and Hines shows that like none of that happened and those people are still alive. Right. Um, but Wolverine now, free of all of the electronics and all of the like psychosis that I guess he like broke through with the like fever dream that he went through, mm -hmm. now it's just it's Logan versus the Siberian tiger. Mm -hmm. Um at any point in time are uh, Cornelius and Hines like, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it happens right here. <laughs> Because uh, after he kills the Siberian tiger, they're just like, whew, that was nuts. <laughs> also, that Siberian tiger looks way less like a tiger now. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. What are you going to do? It's, I think it's spectacular looking, even if it isn't necessarily a what tiger. they say it is. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's grotesque what it ever is. So Thornton's like, well, that was almost a success, except for the fact that he didn't kill you, Hines. You know, like, he's supposed to, ki he's supposed to be a killing machine, and he killed me and Cornelius without any trouble, uh, but why not you? That says there's a weakness here and we gotta make sure we get that out of the next system. What? And Cornelius is like, yeah, but like, I mean, and he only killed me because I shot him. Right. Like, he he only really wanted to kill you. Right. Yeah, uh, and also, um, you threw me into... Um, a pit of death? That was in the simulation. Oh, Heinz doesn't even bring that up. Well, no, I, I yeah. wouldn't really do but, that. But but like, what's the simulation based on? <laughs> yeah, a, a thing I thought might happen. Right, but then Cornelius oh. is great because he he goes. <laughs> Cornelius's observation is: I love the part where you acted like you're under orders by somebody else and kept calling them and begging for your life from them. That was an interesting element you added to the simulation <laughs> that was definitely not real or anything, right? And Thornton's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's completely made up and not exactly what's happening. <laughs> Why would he put that in? That's so weird. Why would you put that in there if you were trying to keep that secret? He's just a slave to continuity. Right, he exactly. Yeah. Himself. He's like, I mean, this is how it would be. Right, yeah. so. Uh, I would absolutely in the simulation. Oh, yeah, try no. to throw you into a pit. Well, and I don't know <laughs> if it, maybe it's like, it's their mental projections. So it's like they added some element of themselves to the, to the discussion, mm. like, or to the simulation. So like, we see exactly how Heinz would react and how Cornelius would react. And this is how Thornton would react and this is what would happen. Mm -hmm. Like, cause we see like, you know, we see, dream images of Wolverine's brain on a screen. So it's like, it stands to reason that like all this other magical technology of like mm. downloading whatever sure. you would do to right, the simulation right. might be Yeah, I connected to the possible. computer and I loaded the simulation with like my thoughts. It, so it's gonna have- It's gonna have like my real shit in there. Right. You know, he's like, oh, he also was worried that his dick isn't big enough. You know, it's like, there's, <laughs> it's the weird element that like, it was all from the computer. So yeah, at least seven guys mentioned how big um, Thornton's dick was. Yeah, was like, that was really weird that it came up, but I'm like, I, I guess good it, for you. It happens naturally. Professor? Yeah. yeah. So, hey, I saw you in the showers the other day. Yes. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> Keep it professional, sir. So Thornton, uh, so Logan kills that tiger, and then they open the gate, like, it worked out great. That's, that, that, that simulation, there's nothing in that simulation that says that this is a fucking mistake. <laughs> so the, the, they send so, the guys to go get him. So wait, wait. Yeah, they think that that Wait. simulation actually is like an in, an indication that like the Logan program is working fantastic. Wait, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. So it's a, it's a simulation. That so, was a simulation. So it didn't ha it happened in his mind or it didn't happen in his it mind? It happened in his mind. And then when he had and like- we, they all saw it. And when they had the, he, the crazy dream of becoming all thorny, he was he coming back to reality? Yes, and he was also entering, yes, and when he or entered- is it, Or is it when he wakes back up? I think it's when he's going through the dream. Okay. But like the dream itself, is also clearly like him breaking from the the the, the programming. Yeah, okay. Because 
they think it worked out great and like I guess transitioned from the simulation to like actually physically sending him outside. Oh, where he doesn't need the battery packs anymore. That's right. That was their mistake. Yes. So <laughs> they send a security force to go collect Logan and Logan pops the claws. Right. And uh, so they're like, hey, um, that camera's not working. Uh, so switch to another camera and we see the carnage that he has wrought mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. he just walks away. And they're like, uh. And so they're like, hey, Wranglers, you copy? And then there's this horrible siren that goes off. And they're like, wait, what's going on here? We'll see that Thornton is not missing any hands. Right. Right, right, right. right. That's a great panel. Yeah, the sequence yeah. where like they're in their little like control room, but not the same control room. This is a different like control. Mm -hmm. um, so the three protagonists of the story are like in their little control room. And they're like, all right, well, there he is. All right, where is he? We sent the guys. Go, where, where, where'd he go? And then three claws pop through the door <laughs> and cut through. Well, they weren't expecting that. He came through a door. That's right. <laughs> like, that well, never happened in the simulation. Yeah, yeah, if he's coming in, it's through the floor or the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. I've made the walls and the floor, or the ceiling and the floor out of adamantium. So, <laughs> so he won't get he through. He won't be able to get through there. Because we know that's how he enters. Yes. yes. So Logan just walks through the door, and we see like the horror on the faces of Hines, Cornelius, and Thornton. Just like, Is that supposed to be Thornton on the end there? Yeah. That, oh, okay. And so you're just like, oh, I guess he kills all of them. I guess that's the end of that. Because, you know, they never show back up. Like, they never showed up in Wolverine's story. Right, I don't and remember this is kind of a them. prequel, so I guess they're dead. And then, like, the story could end here. But if you leave the camera rolling, we get this interlude and in escape, which also depicts Thornton's glasses being uh, cut with claws. Yeah. So we can extrapolate what happens. Well, how we don't, because they didn't, but whatever. <laughs> Like, in this story, they die. Right. In, the na in the later stories, uh, that time that Logan cut off Thornton's hand, that's so iconic. Let's say he did it again in <laughs> reality, and he gets a robot hand or claw or whatever. And uh, Cornelius, yeah, he didn't die either. And he takes over the Weapon X program <sighs> in Death of Wolverine from Charlie Houston. Mm. And so he's the bad guy, because Thornton, we use him so much, and then eventually we kill him. And Hines, she works with, Thor with, with, with Cornelius, and it's just like, what? To delete? Well, out of alone. Right. No, like I believe if maybe Cornelius and Hines made it out yes, somehow. Yes, but Thornton, but Thornton could there's not. No way. Yeah. But they're like, we keep using. What's Wolverine Thornton. gonna do when he breaks into that room if not kill him? Yeah. What, what does he do instead? Like, what does he yeah. do? What happens instead of them being murdered? Right. What, is, is he, Explain hey, it. Explain right. that to me. He grabs Thornton's hand and he does this. <laughs> But and then he walks out. But it's with three claws. With so three claws. So he, and so he loses the hand. Yeah. Yeah. And then he says something badass. I don't know what. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's enough. Right. The, <laughs> the, the interlude slash escape <laughs> of Wolverine leaving is him, like, just being butt naked, escaping from the project, wandering the wilderness. And we see it punctuated by dialogue between Cornelius and Hines. Not Thornton. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I gotta tell you, like, for some reason right now, literally in this moment, seeing these two pages, it just struck me that Wolverine was so alone that no one was ever going to look for him. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Like, Which I'm is, like, of course, established in the beginning. Like, he's yeah. just that kind of right, person. Right, but it was like, it just, it just hit me now as he's going back. I'm like, no one was ever going to find you, Wolverine, and yeah. you have nowhere to go. That's right. Yep. Hines and Cornelius talk about, like, who Logan was, where they're like, where did he, how did we acquire him? Mm -hmm. You know, Heinz wants to know like, where did he come from? He didn't volunteer is what right. I'm saying. Yeah, why was and he? And Cornelius like, oh no. Like we abducted this man. And he's like, yeah. This this is, I believe, dialogue from like early earlier in the story. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. But uh, he says, the professor's not even like really a human. She's like, well, if you look into his eyes, like that's a man. Mm. She's and like, he's like, and what a man. Right. <laughs> She's like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. And she's like, well, I think the professor is a liar. And he's like, maybe. Well, it'll all be over soon. And the last panel is of just a dead, bloody hand and some discarded snipped wires. Hmm. Oh, nice. So like, yeah, no, he killed them in that yeah. room. Yeah. This is the hand of everybody in that room. <laughs> it's everybody's hand. But they're like, oh, a hand? That means oh. he cut off Thornton's hand and yeah. then ran away. I didn't see a whole dead body. That's not how it works. This, yeah. is, this isn't like there's a bug in your house. Right. It's like, I didn't see that spider. <laughs> I didn't get that body. It probably so just dead. crawled up into a fan and died. <laughs> 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 so as you can see, like the whole damn thing is about control. It's about like Thornton's desire to control like man or a man. Mm -hmm. We see Cornelius wanting to control the narrative of his life and maybe regain some control over it. Uh, Logan has none until he rests it free. And even then it's not given to him. 
Um, the, uh, the, the shadowy figure who was controlling Thornton. Yeah. Right. Claremont wanted it to be Apocalypse. What? What? Yeah. Why? I assume so that they could create death. One of his horsemen. And one of his children. Yeah. Huh. But. That's lame. I don't like that. See, I don't like that either. It's lame until you hear who it really is. Now, of course, it would also make sense. Oh, it's experimentation. Maybe it's Mr. Sinister. Yeah. That would make a lot of sense. And in fact, a lot of Thornton's research is derived from Mr. Sinister. Uh, it could have been the high evolutionary. I mean, I guess for me, mm. it doesn't have to be anyone we know at all. It shouldn't be anyone. Yeah. Someone in the government. Yeah. You know, like. It'd be amazing if it was literally no one and like. And like, it was just Thornton? It was just a lunatic. Oh my God. Right, yeah. Or it was just some asshole who worked for the government who was just like, oh yeah, no, I have this no, black book program. I kind like, of love the idea that it's just. It's just Thornton. It's just it's Thornton and like that's his own psychosis. That's why he has to have control over Wolverine. Because, because he's like, like, I'm being dominated. And it's like, no, you're not, no, man. You're not. That's you. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like, yeah. Well, because like I need to control him. I think I'm being controlled. I need to be controlled. But yeah, no, it's Romulus. Who? Who? Yep. That's right. Nobody. A dumbass character created by Jeff Loeb for the story Evolution. And Romulus sucks and doesn't matter. <laughs> and he has no bearing or Is impact he like on a anything. Mutant? What is yeah, he? he's just a friggin' super powerful badass with a, with a <sighs> sister named Remus who uh, was responsible for Dokken. Oh. Or engineering docket. That sucks. I guess I it's guess like, it's <sighs> too late now for someone to go back and retcon what we just suggested. Oh no, they could do that. I mm. mean like it, it's tough it's really tough to make a retcon where you just say that all the retcons didn't happen. <laughs> Actually, it's much more simple than you thought. Because essentially what you're doing is you're just resetting it and le like moving moving the pieces off the board so that someone else can play the retcon game like right. five or 10 years later. They'll just do it again. Yeah, where yeah. they're like, oh no, now it's even worse. Or like, no, yeah. now we can do the re-retcon. Because that was Claremont being like, ooh, Apocalypse, I like using him, let's go with that. And I'm like, okay, and then they didn't. Yeah, Apocalypse would be better than Rom. And that's the thing, right? I'm like, yeah, okay, Apocalypse is like, it, it, it makes me Yeah, now Apocalypse not looking so bad, huh? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. I mean, uh. like, and I, look, like, I love that the, the Logan Wolverine Weapon X thing is in a vacuum. Like, when this is just by itself, it's this horrible show about, like, it's, it's this horror show about a man who's just dominated by oppressive forces and weak-willed, pathetic other men. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just people being people. The worst and most humankind. And then they're like, but it's also a Marvel comic. And an X-Men comic. Right. And we gotta get Deadpool in there somewhere. Like, we gotta get all this shit. And so it's like, yeah, like, eventually, you know, there's... They, they retcon in, you know, Team X. And Wolverine was a part of that team with Sabretooth and Maverick. And that's how they even get his name on the registry for this thing. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, Weapon X is part of Department K. And Department K is a <laughs> subsidiary of the CIA and the Canadian government. And right. Wolverine being experimented on this allows them to steal his healing factor, which they then impart to characters like Deadpool. And you're just like, but no. Then why is this always packaged by itself? If this is so integral and important to, right. the, to the rich history of your spiky-based X-Men mutant characters right. or mutate characters. Because it doesn't quite fit with all that stuff. No, because like, the rest of them are kind of like... Stylistically and tonally. Yeah. It, can you imagine how like jarring and weird it is for your like average you know, continuity junkie comic book geek to then go like, okay, I'm going to see where it starts and just read this treatise on human control. Right. And being like, that's not exactly the same thing <laughs> as like this whole thing being linked with the super soldier serum. <laughs> yeah. And Captain well, America. Also, it's, it's, it's like they're making fun of mutants because it's like, uh, have you heard of Homo Superior? No. No, I have not. It's that sounds like, insane. That sounds like yeah, a crazy person. It sounds like a child's sounds like moon language. idea of of what would be cool. Yes. Like sounds that, like something the simplistic oh. Magneto might come up with. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, that's what the guy on the phone told me it's called. <laughs> well, also, I'm reading this book, and I'm like, oh, there's some secret guy behind the scenes, and like you're trying to figure out like who's the guy, and then at the end, it they don't matter. say, and it's almost like it's like, this like vague concept of like maybe it's like society or maybe it's like a metaphor or something and like but that doesn't make any sense because right? shouldn't it be apocalypse? <laughs> exactly. Or at least Mr. Sinister or the High Evolutionary. Wait a minute, we don't even know where Boo Radley came from. <laughs> well, what is all this? I read this whole damn story. You know, everybody's worried about Boo Radley. Then he just shows up at the end like he's not the big boogeyman. 
well, what is this mutation? It's not yeah. meant to be anything. It's not other than part what it of is. another thing. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> no! No, but it is. But everything it, is. It has Wolverine in it. He's part of it. What scaffolding is it connected with this? <laughs> yeah. Nothing. That's why it's like, oh, that's, ah, oh, yeah, Weapon X. Ho, oh, ho. And then, it's just, you know, and then you can refer to it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like Wolverine, you know, getting snippets of his memories or talking to some asshole, and he's like, oh, Weapon X. And he's like, oh, no. And you can cut to some beautiful moment from this book where it's yeah. like he's wearing that silly helmet. It's just like, oh, because, like, the helmet, you know, it's funny. I think it's awesome. I've always thought the helmet's awesome. Yeah. But it's so, like, weird and clunky. Like, what is it? It's like, oh, it's cyberpunk. It's yeah. just like it's a mixture of man and machine. And it's like it, it otherizes him. It also takes away his eyes. You can't connect with him in any way. Right. You right. know, it just makes him into more of, like, what what Thornton wanted. Yeah. It's like, it, it's like, this isn't cool. Like, it's cool because, <laughs> it's, like, it's retro. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, but it's horrifying. Yes. That's you don't what want the it. technology with human merging It's why no one wore Google was. Glass. Yeah. Because <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. I read the backup. Yeah. Ah, yes. How was it? Oh, my God. <laughs> How'd yes. you like it? It's that poor man. I know. I mean, not really. You're, if you're a part of this, I don't know. It, it, in a vacuum, this is weird. After reading this, I'm like, no, you got what you deserved. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's it's one of the guys got away, and then essentially he's like, but he didn't get away. Right. Yeah, and Wolverine like, found me. Wolverine found him outside, and he just he like lost all bodily control, and then like Wolverine just went for him, and like he's uh -oh. like he just started slashing me, and then like to ribbons, and then like he got to the face, and he took his time with the face. Oh my god. And he's like, and then I guess his, his your lust was over, and you left me there, because it was so cold, I I survived. Like, lucky me. Yep. Wow. I'm like, oh, Weapon X. Barry Windsor Smith. It it's one of the most. It, uh, it, it honestly was incredible, and I yeah, I, yeah. I, incredible. I Wolverine actually stories. like really appreciated knowing the origin story of it because like clearly I would love 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 to see an animated version of this. Oh, oh my god. god. I don't even want to see necessarily like a real life. I I want to no. see an animated version that tries to approximate some of the Windsor Smith isms yeah. in it. Like I would. Love even that. just a, even I know I especially I would, like making it not for kids. Yes, you know I've never said this sentence in my life, but oh, I would love to see a motion comic of it. Huh? <laughs> That's the first time I've ever said that. Okay. Uh, but I but I think it would work. You know, it's it, or do like the what they did with the Max cartoon, where they literally just took the pages and then animated between those sequences. They just filled the the space. Uh, but yeah. It, it's a spectacular looking book. It's also one of those things though, where I, I appreciate that thought, but I also love that it is a comic book. Oh no, I it do is like, too. It, it would not exist in any I other way. I absolutely do. I just, there's part of me that wants to see this reimagined in like a, th like I want to, I want to hear music. Yes. Like, and I guess that's really what it is. I want to hear music. I want to hear the sound effects. I want, I want to hear the alarm. I want to the, hear the sound the and then system. like the silence when it's poignant. Yes. Like, I want that experience. Yeah. So I guess what we'd need is Barry Windsor Smith to pick it. Cause he did it all. Yeah. It's like, and Barry Windsor Smith has to pick the music and the sound effect. Yeah. Like, and, and like just when make it should that. be like, I, I don't, I, Maybe if it was a motion comic and it was instead of me like sliding through it, it just played for yeah, me. Yeah, played for me. Like you I want to know what pace you want. Pair that. Yeah. So that like it would be when it was supposed to be like, but, like yeah, like I just I want that additional element, yeah. the next layer. Just I want more immersion. Yeah. In this mm -hmm. thing that I don't want to have any. Yeah, like not too much. To. Like I don't want to like you know I don't want the like you know whatever D effect of like you know feeling like you feel the warm blood splatter <laughs> on your face. I'm okay. Thank uh. you. You can taste the pennies in your mouth. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Here, put this in your mouth. No. Uh. <laughs> uh, you're on page nine. <laughs> But yeah, it's 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 a it's a fantastic book, and again, like I think it's just a it's a tome about something. Like, it, yeah. and you can point to it. You can be like, oh, the theme is control, and you know, you could do term papers on it. You could just talk about it. You could read it. You could uh, you know, you could add it to your mythos. Yeah. But uh, again, like the only thing I don't want to do is add more crap to it. I want it to be yeah. like a, a, I want it to be more like a cornerstone or a foundation. But there isn't, there hasn't been a seminal work that hasn't been added to. That's true. That's true. Point. That's true. Well, and, uh, but I was going to say, there haven't really been many more Wolverine stories that have been as impactful as this. Like, when you point at all the Wolverine stories, most of them have all, have all been told, and every other story after it is like a fun adventure he's been on. But it hasn't been contributory. Right, right, right. You know, like Claremont and Miller being like, this is Logan in Japan. Yep. Yep. And that adds an, an a layer to him. Yep. You know, the, even the Len Wein Hulk story. This is what Wolverine was like 
when we were just doing some fun weekly comic booking. Yep. And then like and then there's Old Man Logan. Old Man Logan, which even then is actually which, I like, think weirdly like really shouldn't add anything because it's just this like other, but it, it does. Yeah. For me, it's more of a Marvel Universe story. Yeah, but I think it adds to him for sure. Yeah, I think so. It's it it does seek to tell you you know where he's headed. Yeah. And Though Wolverine the end. Yeah. Sucks. Mm. And it's done by Paul Jenkins, who did Wolverine Origin. That's the last one. Wolverine yeah. Origin. But and I'm gonna throw out a con. I'm I'm gonna throw out a retcon. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. That I think is better than the retcon for Wolverine Origin, where he gets the bone claws. Mm -hmm. I mean, like we saw it in Fatal Attraction or after Fatal Attraction, he has the bone claws. Mm -hmm. That's like a big reveal. Oh, he always had claws, what? Mm -hmm. And then in Wolverine Origin, they're like, and he had them when he first mutated. Like mm -hmm. that was always a thing. And they're always connected to his tragic backstory. Okay. I say, throw out Wolverine Origin bone claws. Okay. Because I don't like that. How? Right. You just say it doesn't happen. Or you say it was a memory implant or something. But <laughs> yeah. I love, I, because I, like, here's the thing. Well, you've always hated the bone claws. I have. You're just looking for a reason to get rid of bone. No, claws. no, no. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna legitimize them okay. from whence they came. Oh. Because in the '90s, they invented the bone claws, and I gotta tell you, they look cool. Like <laughs> the image of him with one of them broken, <laughs> and him me. screaming. They look cool. They look cool. They look cool. Well, the other thing is, if you're going to get rid of the adamantium, which you should never have done in the first place, right? You, you can't get rid of the claws. What right. if you give him hot claws? Hot claws. Well, we'll get there first, but uh, <laughs> he never had bone claws. Mm -hmm. He evolutionarily grew them in the absence of the adamantium claws. How would that work? It's that <laughs> his his mutation triggered them. But he was already a mutant before that. Yeah, I know. But like, but there he, was like a it, no, no, his body remembered having them. Yes, so it's after like, his, now I want the well, the, the, tr the trauma <laughs> of Weapon X, all the shit that was done to right. him. Right. It's like, oh, you have claws now. Yeah, you have you have sense memory of claws. Right. And so my body, his body will grow them. Just like his body will right. grow a new heart if it's cut. Oh. No, no, his body grew the claws as like almost like a defense mechanism. Oh, you're damaged. You know what I mean? Like, right. oh, you well, lost your arm, that. I'll grow yeah. you another arm. Oh, you're, you, you know, you, you, you well, cut then, your liver. Well, I'll grow well, your liver back. But then wouldn't it also try to like grow either more dense or more plated bones because they're maybe. like, maybe, yeah, sure. Coated. Oh yeah, yeah. His, yeah. his bones could get like extra thick or, or calcified. Something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's so like, it's oh like my he's God. still kind of like tougher. He's big yeah. bone. Yes. And Literally, that, that would actually explain like why he grew, even though it was just like art style. Right, but like yeah. you know, no, yeah, no, more he, bulk in his he bones. Gets, his he, bones have bones on them. Yeah, or like they just they, they grow more layers. in the bone zone. <laughs> ah, but yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, I think like it's it's like you've been damaged. I'll grow them back. Yeah, and you're like, like because like they're inseparable now. Yes, like, they became part. Yeah, of they're you. part of your genetic memory. Yeah, it's like, but I never had those before. It's like, yeah, but like you were also reborn. Yeah, like you were broken down and built back up. I, admittedly, yep. I do hmm. like the idea of the bone claws being there because why would they retract otherwise? Right. Like, how does right. the adamantium go away? Right. Like, what is the physical like mechanism well, they, in his arm that like. Well, they show you the, the the cross section where it's. I like, know, but like, where did it come from? Oh no! Did they build it in him? No, somehow? no, no, no. The, right? the, remember the uh, the adam the claws are an accident. It's just we I put, know, we but, I know but, but then yeah. like, how could an accident be functional like that? Well, it's it's right? more like where they it's like his 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 skeletal structure somehow like yeah, created stuff to like pull it that's in. What, that's what I think they're implying. I think they're implying. But like, with why this, like, would it do? Why that? would it do that? Because like, we're it, messing with shit we don't understand. Like we don't. His, I mean, well, you have his, to say it's like the mutation. His mutation like, adapted, like, adapted to it. around it but, and but like, that would accommodated be, them. That would be like if he got stabbed with a knife and then his body tried to assimilate it. Right, but only it, well, <laughs> yeah. only if, anything you stick in Wolverine, like his body will figure well, out how to like make it. How retire. can I use oh, this? Can I use this? <laughs> Typically, he's not. It's like a hoarder. He's not stabbed a million times over a period of months and nothing else. Right, I'm just saying like, it's like the left bone claws on him. Right. really clean that up. Yes. That, there, that mechanism yeah. was already Yeah, it's like there. it was already part but of his biology. But they don't because they say that the adamantium was around the bone claws, which of course A, is not in this, and B, when we see the claws in every depiction up until he has bone claws, they are thin knives. Yeah, his bones and are not then his bones are like, yeah. and his bones are bones. They're like bumpy and tough. You, you yeah. could argue that they're longer, right? 
you could say that the adamantium went beyond right. the claw, yeah. like a nail, like it's a like fingernail. It's like just, yeah. just outside the, cl yeah, the, the claw zone. Yeah, because like they tend the to be, it looks the like they're thicker at the base. Yes. So it could be that they're thicker and then like, it's like. Well, in like, this, the base is only thick because they have like the blood stoppers. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 I get you. I can make it work. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> the, the, in the movie, yeah. the Wolverine, yeah. Yeah. his claws were like back here. Yes. That like they were, it is exactly that. Yeah. They were not laced. That like once they snap the uh, the adamantium off, his actual bone claws come back out. Mm -hmm. Like they were stifled, or like that the bone the bone claw mechanism would have come out of his hands, but there was all this metal in the way, so they just pushed the metal out like yeah. they were claws. Like, okay, Here, here's the bottom line: don't get rid of the adamantium and don't <laughs> cut his claws off. Yeah, let's not introduce the questions about how it all works. Yeah, because you know what? Now that you're mentioning that aspect of right. the movie. I'm now thinking of the Wolverine movie where they slice off the claws yeah, and saying. they start like mining like oh. stuff from him. So it's like, oh, so his bones are in the claws? Right. Because there must be something biological in the claws yeah. in order for them to be extracting it through them. Right, right, right. But then also <laughs> when they cut off the claws, then the bone claws come out. So it's like oh, they're behind. They? Yeah, it's like they're either oh. in there or behind them. That's what's some, it's oh. a mess. Well, so I'm saying, I'm, I think that they're short. Right. But they're not because we've seen them. I'm just like I think. Well, <laughs> well, in I, origin, well, we they fix are kind of short, mm. but only in the Casada covers, but not in the comic book. Right? No, they are. <laughs> in origin, they are short. They, they come out a little bit. Hmm. They're not awesome. Yeah, right. Just, yes. And then the nail grows over. They just stumps upon which we can put grows, grows over. over that. Like yeah. da Lady this right. Right. Exactly. The book is available in the comments down below. Awesome. It's the big version, get it. It's worth having your collection. It's worth pouring over once in a while. What they need to do is killing joke this. And when I say that, I don't mean what we've been implying. I mean like with the uh, gorgeous uh, oversized collection of killing joke, they have both versions. Yeah. They have like the the, the new colors and the old colors, but the yeah. old colors are on the old newsprint paper. Mm, yeah, I think that Weapon X deserves that, pre that, that, uh, that depiction where it's like old colors, old newsprint paper. Yeah alongside the new colors or the revised colors. I agree. And the uh, glossier paper. Mm-hmm. Snicked. What? He doesn't snicked. They don't say snicked. I know, he doesn't say snicked. snicked. Which I think is incredible restraint. <laughs> or the, or uh, Windsor Smith just wasn't interested in snicked. I think he was. He's like, I don't care for the snicked. I, I think I he was like, I don't snicked. want to overshadow what I'm doing here. Right. Whereas in Old Man Logan, it's a double page splash of an automatopoeia. Right. <laughs> Snicked. 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 Well, you've been waiting. You've been waiting since issue one to yep. see that snicked. <laughs> When's he gonna snicked? Just at the very end.